Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Horizon Forbidden West. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, first things first, if anybody is just stumbling upon this by happenstance, um, the reason I am going to be slightly quiet is because I currently live at a hotel uh, for work. I am an archaeologist, and this is where I currently reside. So due to that, I have to be slightly quiet. Uh, but I have been waiting for this game for a long time, and I also took the day off so that I could play it and hopefully be a little louder than I've had to be in the past. <laughs> um, but I'm still a little self-conscious about it. Also, I'm so excited. I spent the last month playing my new game plus of Horizon Zero Dawn, and I finally platinumed the game, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, let's just make sure I have stuff on, but let's see, um, what else? I haven't um, played the DLC yet. I did spend the morning, though, getting to the point on my complete edition of Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, long story short, the DLC won't work on my New Game Plus edition. I had to buy the complete edition on its own in order to play the DLC, which means I had to replay the beginning of the game. I just finished that, and I will be hopefully playing the DLC and uploading it as well at the same time. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I just want to make sure... That, uh, pff, there's so many options. I would just like to make sure that we have freaking subtitles thank you <laughs> that's all i wanted <laughs> i didn't know where to put it uh it's always in somewhere different uh I, by the way i'm so freaking excited for the swimming in this game i'm i've been watching all the videos and stuff that have been coming out and i'm so excited um let's play let's play hard actually mm-hmm minimal hud information yes Let's just do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for so long. And I've seen some screenshots today. And hopefully I can get this video out today. And also, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy the series. It's... I really love doing this. <laughs> I'm just really hoping nobody can hear me. <laughs> it's really... Like, if somebody in your life could hear me, it's very awkward. These walls are so thin. 
um, but my coworkers should all be at work, so I should be able to be a little more excited without worrying about it. I have, like, not very many hours, but here we go. <laughs> I am so ready. I've seen screenshots today, and it looks gorgeous, even on the PS4. I'm so excited. And I am playing this on PS4, by the way. But I did buy the digital edition pre-order, so I have all the goodies, and I have um, the ability in the future to play this on my PS5. You know, if I ever get one, because nobody actually owns one, huh? And I'm so excited for the new, new machine types. <laughs> I'm so excited, and I'm excited to see Varl, and I'm excited, I'm excited to see Olin too, but mostly Varl <laughs> and Petra. <laughs> but all this is really fresh in my head because I just completed the game like a week ago. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. Like I finished my new game plus, which was a lot of work and really fun. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. Yeah, we still haven't fixed that. <laughs> we stopped and Hades. Only I can fix it. But uh, yeah, we haven't fixed. Only I have your genetic code. Haven't fixed that spiraling out of control. It won't thing. be long before we hit the point of no return. <gasps> Not the animals. And then extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AIU designed to control the system. We did get info on how to get that. But every time I think I have a lead, that comes to nothing. I could have sworn we had more info at the end of the last game, but maybe not. And every night, I have the same dream. She looks so good. I know they redesigned her a tiny bit, and it, she looks like a tiny bit older, and it's really, really nice. She looks really, really good. I'm, I'm walking under a brilliant night sky. Super pleased. Oh, the tree of life. Oh, feel the flowers. Nice tree of life motif. Nice. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, <gasps> Elizabeth. Oh, I just did this the other day, and I cried. <laughs> Waiting for me. For you. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. Where you find her at her home. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. Oh my gosh, not making me cry in the first five minutes. And for a moment, I feel whole. Oh my gosh. But it never lasts. <sighs> what a rough dream to have every night. Jeez. It looked like humans could touch this, but not animals? I don't know. We'll see, I'm sure. It seems like it's more like a like an overgrowth I'm thing. Left alone. Kind of in um was it like Havaro? Havaro and Mass Effect Andromeda had an overgrowth problem, a terraforming issue there too. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. Also, Varro lives here. The valley below <laughs> is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. Do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Oh, she's actually gonna wear it. Dang. It's kind of just gonna flop around a little bit, maybe. She's so gorgeous. Varl! Yeah! Varl? Wow! <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. He better be. You know, I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. Just saying. Yes! So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um, I, I should- <laughs> I've been dragging you a long way. 
It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Come on, Aloy. You gotta accept help. Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. Oh snap, we're handing him out now like candy. A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. He's going to have a moment, though. He's going to be like, whoa. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. I'm not sure if they're going to do what they did in the last game, which was just give you a bunch of options of very attractive people who liked Aloy, but not letting you romance them, which is legitimately totally fine if that's what they do. I'm also intrigued if they do a romance, but I don't think they will. Anyway, I, I can pine. I can pine perfectly well. <laughs> perfectly capable. <laughs> I want to get my. All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the. Focus. Oh my gosh! Sounds good. Let's get the started. The tutorial is me teaching Varro, but it's me teaching myself. Oh my gosh! And she's so happy. She's happy. She's definitely happy to have a friend. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. You know what, J.K. I want. I want icons. I don't know how to do that, but I, I okay. I'm not even gonna look at that. I don't even want to look at that. Let's try. We'll try. We'll try without the icons for a bit. Ugh. Bitter. Yeah. Well, at least they make you feel better. Oh my gosh! I literally we should keep going. just played this in the complete edition, trying to get Might to the DLC. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Um. And that's what happens at the, the tutorial at the very beginning when Rost teaches her how to survive in the wilds as a child. Um, she goes, bleh, bitter. This is so weird. I just spent the morning playing the beginning of the first game. <coughs> oh, it is bad for us. Oh, the light's infecting all the plants. It's changing my mind. Butterflies, oh my gosh. It keeps spreading. Nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. It's like, uh, it's like Holly. I think it's Holly. Ivy also. Dang them vine. Ruins. That's where we need to go. Vine plants. I see a few ways down. So many. What are we after exactly? I got up. Well, um, it's an AI. It's um. Think Wait, of it like no, there was a supply a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Yeah, I want icons. Also, this is going to be a huge, like, uh, coming yeah. to grips with religion. I ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost our For Varl. Of course we lost our gear. It's okay, I have the, di I have the, the special pre-order edition. I have goodies waiting for me. Stained red. The blight must be infecting us. Okay, I can walk on it. I was curious. <laughs> oh no, okay. After a while, it does it does make you feel not great. Oh, we can just hmm? <coughs> some of the blight is it's peeling off. Dead we should skin. we should wear masks. That's not how it spreads. Ugh. Uh, in in uh, in reality and in and in the game, we should. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. We, we should we should wear masks. Cause yeah, that doesn't good look, idea. It doesn't look healthy. Uh, what plants? I only know the blue ones. Can I go? Should I go up? Nope. That's okay. I'm gonna go this way. 
It said examine again. Do I want to? Is it just gonna keep saying the same thing? <coughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <coughs> Some Again. of the blight is unskippable. It's peeling off. Unskippable. Skip. Is that how it spreads? Also, Ugh. I don't know why, but my controller that I'm using is really freaking loud in the microphone, even though it's not close to it. So I apologize for that in advance. Oh my gosh, I hate these are my least favorite. Least favorite. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. Least favorite. And there they go. Good. Looks like they left a carcass behind. What all can I <gasps> swimming? I know it's not time for swimming yet. Hang on. We gotta be patient. Can I <gasps> Oh that's right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I have I don't oh my gosh I lost everything everything oh my gosh <laughs> I had so many things I definitely want to know what plants oh I bet you I can pick up that wood also I would have arrows in that machine would have oh geez. take a closer look <gasps> Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. With arrows? I don't know. We craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some Ridgewood by the stream. There's Ridgewood even here. So we've moved location slightly from Colorado, Utah area to All right. San Francisco. <laughs> now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Oh yes. Arrows ready. Okay, okay. So the I do like this that you can just do that now. It's kind of like a Dragon Age Inquisition, you know, as a as a game that I have played somewhat but I recently. Can't reach it from here. I'll throw you. I think a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Yeah, or that. Just have to target the lock. Oh, that. After you. Thank you. Don't stare at my butt. Also, I did hear, I watched a video that said that they improved the climbing mechanism and or made it easier to know and gave you more areas to climb. Because before it was kind of a pain in the butt, hard to see, climbing really sucked. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened mm -hmm. after I mm -hmm. left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. Mm -hmm. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. Mm -hmm. You're right about that. How's Avad? He was in love with me. Sort of. That was complicated. Looks like a dead end. We're gonna, oh, uh, also obligatory uh, Frick Ted Pharaoh. Um, I, my, my mission in this game is to find a backup of Apollo because that was one of the worst cultural genocides in video game history, what Ted Pharaoh did, and I will never forgive him. And if you're interested, you can definitely go watch my Horizon Zero Dawn series where I freaking had a massive huge rant about Ted Pharaoh. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in the title. I couldn't tell you what episode it is. I'm not, I don't keep that much track of things. <laughs> um, but, oh my Down gosh, I have never been so angry, so infuriated by a video game character in my life. Not only did he create the plague, he then destroyed everything people spent time on. The cross. Trying to save, you know? Never seen one of those. It's so cute! It's an otter! Oh my gosh, it's an otter! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to They came out of the water. Focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. No, I, I don't, I'm not going to kill the otter. I'm not going to kill the otter, baby. Oh, oh, I can hold it. Oh. It's I. 
It's a weak spot. Okay, Got right. It. Oh. Oh, now you can, instead of having to, like, target... Oh, that's so much more convenient. Before, you'd have to, like, try to, like, zero in on the thing you were trying to look at to see what its weakness was. Like, the different particular parts, but now you can just scroll through. Detachable. Terror is my favorite. Little, like, literally my favorite arrow in this game. Weak versus fire. That's... The sound shell. Oh my gosh. Attack. Destroyed when killed. View in notebook. What do I have? Just the whole thing? Okay. It's so cute. It's so adorable. I, it's, and it's so sleek looking. I'm so excited to see the new machines in this game. Like, and I hope we can ride some really cool ones. Inspect sure. Key upgrade resource. Very rare. It's a common animal though. Machine. Okay. Oh, our chances of getting the loot. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, they give us chances on the loot drops. Oh, that's so nice. That's so great. Detachable. I don't have any way to detach things anymore. I'm ready. I don't know what to do. Okay, concentrate. Wait, hang on. Can I... Dang it, I was hoping to find its path. Mm, that didn't work. Ooh, I can throw rocks! Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, also, one of the other things that has been improved, ouch, is melee combat, for which I am grateful. Because, um, I, I mean, I enjoy doing the... Find anything good? I enjoy using the bow, and I actually really love being stealthy in this game. It gets my, it scratches my assassin, oh, jeez, scratches my assassin's creek fix. Um, but... I can't believe you've done this to me. But the melee in this game was sorely left. Or in the previous game was sorely left. I got him. Oh jeez, I missed. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Give me the give me the drop. The other thing detached. Why can't I have it? So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. I set out to find you. He had to get permission, though. He has to be a seeker, otherwise he's in, like, violation of, like, Nora Someone tribal law. Too. You know? Which I didn't think about when I was watching the trailers, but having just played the beginning of the game, of the first game, where you had to go through that on your own to get the seeker stuff to be able to leave without becoming an exile. So he's either a seeker or an exile. And also, he's gonna have a, like I mentioned earlier, he's gonna potentially have a really big um, religious awakening. Uh, like, unfortunately. Like, I feel like Aloy did a really good job in the last game, like, not trying to, like, you know, crap on anyone's, like, um, beliefs. You know, not. I mean, she. There were moments where she was bitter, for sure, um, about certain things. Um, but you know, she didn't try to. What, did those just come back? Um, she didn't try to like disabuse anyone of their notions because, like, that's kind of cruel. You know, like it's a very ingrained part of their society. But if Varl's gonna use the focus, and if he's gonna come with us, like he's gonna see some things that are gonna make him, you know, realize that things aren't what he thought. Which is really difficult. He 
said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. I might go in the right way. Why do you want me to do that? I think I can go in the right way. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's why I wanted me to crouch. I am actually currently living in California for here. So it's really interesting. One of the old ones. Welcome to the Far Zenith. Far Zenith? <gasps> that's right. That's I know they made some tech They did, they did Odyssey. Why would they have a back? They did car? Odyssey. We'll be okay. Not getting through that I way. I guess they want us to check in with them. Mm. Um, but no, yes, Far Zenith was the ones that tried to like do like the spaceship version, where they like tried to send like um like uh for one thing um uh an alpha version I think or a beta version of um Apollo. Um, I think they had a copy of Gaia with them, and they tried, and like, uh, zygotes, and like, you know, everything that you would need to like, repopulate humanity, essentially, but on a ship in space, but we had a report in Zero Dawn that, um, that it had exploded, but it was only a report, and we weren't, even the way, like, I read it, like, and listened to, like, the audio log, I was like, I don't know if that's true, um, and you hear Farzine a couple different times, so that's really cool, um, I think, despite us having not done, like, a whole ton in this episode, I'm gonna call it here. Um, but I'm so excited. The game is as gorgeous as I was hoping. I was a little tiny worried on the PS4 that it might not be, like, as great. But Horizon Zero Dawn itself is gorgeous. Like, the first game is so gorgeous on the PS4. I figured they had to do a good job on the PS4 for this, for Forbidden West 2. So, anyway, thank you all for joining me. Um, there's people in the hallway. Oh, that's so awkward. Um... Really quick, I do have a patron, so I'm going to say thank you to my patrons, to all of them, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito, thank you so much for your support, and my tree tier patron, Christopher, who is the super bestest, and I really appreciate all your support, and I hope all of you patrons and non-patrons and everybody, watchers, whatever, <laughs> subscribers, whoever <laughs> is watching this, I hope you enjoy it, um, and stick with me, and, and have a good time, so uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.